If you're not here, you're definitely going to be having Simmons FOMO. We're here at the Hong Kong Stadium at the Cafe HSBC Hong Kong Sevens. There's so much going on, on and off the pitch. Not only have we got exclusive music access, but we've got rugby legends just strolling around the concourse. And I'll tell you one thing, we've all got in common here, we're not going to be having Sevens FOMO because we're right in the mix. <laughs> Now we talk a lot at the HSBC Sevens about rugby and festivals, but few, if any player, have ever actually played at festivals. Merged these are V. These are the Ergo, you and me. James Haskell, DJ James Haskell, going to be headlining here. Haskell, you've never been here. I've never been what here. What are your first thoughts at this place? Well, Hong Kong's always had me. Um, I have had very limited sleep. Um, but I've enjoyed every moment of it. The atmosphere of the stadium is incredible. Yesterday when I came and did a sound check, everyone I walked past, when they said you're playing in front of the South Stand, I was like, oh, playing in front of the South Stand. Like, South Stand, eh? South Stand, M mental. So I'm quite excited to see what happens. I've heard some amazing stories from it. Um, if I can get through it unscathed and perform properly, that'll be win-win. Performing on the pitch yeah. or performing to the crowd, which one? Uh, well, look, as you know, I'm a shy, retiring person that doesn't really like attention. Um, I'll be honest with you, one of the weird things people ask me, do you, do you miss playing right? And I, and I don't because I couldn't do it anymore. I can barely walk properly, I've got my arthritis, my ankle. Because I've made that mental leap, it would be performing every time now because you get the same adulation, the same buzz, the same vibe, but now I'm getting filled in. Um, <laughs> well, unless you play some bad music. So actually, it kind of works out well. So I would say now, it's amazing. I think a lot of people, I, I, when I walk past people in the crowd, people go, right, right Haskell, tunes better be good, mate. I didn't know you did. So I get a load of abuse, but hopefully they'll like what I do. You're watching seven five I got the moves, baby. Hong Kong is known for its hype atmosphere and amazing costumes. But there is something that I'm on the lookout for, and that is dance moves. So come with me as I go looking for the best dancers here today in Hong Kong. Show me some of your best dance moves. They started slow, but they're picking it up here. We're gonna have a dance off. I wanna see your best moves. Let's go. I need someone on the floor. Come on. There we go. Woo! Woo! You are the champion of the dance off. The best here in Hong Kong this weekend. <laughs> So these last couple of days have been absolutely amazing, but to see the rugby going on in front of the South Stand, what an experience this is. Everyone says that it, like, you know, you hear something, it's like a mythical place. It's the only place in the world as well you can walk around, and if you're not in fancy dress, yeah. you look strange. You do, you do. I mean, these guys are doing a great job right now, and they're absolutely loving it. I mean, there's not many places you can do this. Guys! <laughs> We are massive sports fans, and to be able to go into the analytics room to see where all the TV coverage is put together. I'm sweating buckets right now. This is like refreshing. <laughs> Going in the sighting room was very stressful because I just thought, yeah, that's a good tackle. But it's like, was it though? Questioning yourself. Yeah, exactly, definitely. But blown away by the atmosphere. It is so good. Any anyone can come and enjoy it. Blown away. One of my favourite things about Hong Kong has been the food. I've had pineapple buns, egg waffles and even some stinky tofu. I'm about to tuck in some churros, but before I do, I want to tell you rugby fans about a little food challenge. One minute, two competitors and as many churros as they can manage. The winner gets very full very quickly, but they also get this coveted prize. My name is Christopher Appel. I came here from New York City. And the reason that I'm going to win is because I eat dirty water dogs in New York for a living. And this is going to be a crushing. 
You got Dougie Borkham here from Sutton. But anyway, I'm going to give this fella a run for his money, and let's see how we go. Woo! Three, two, one. Winner is Dougie. Yeah. That was pretty tough, guys. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect him to get through those as quickly as he did. Dougie is a real G. Next time we'll get him. I don't know, there's an electricity to this city at the best of times. And for Hong Kong Sevens, it's like it's supercharged. Yesterday, the South Stand behind me was um, heaving. It was a great phrase in, in the Hong Kong Sevens that if you, if you get bored doing whatever you're doing, you can always turn around and watch the rugby. Of course, I am supporting uh, the Irish teams. It was a great phrase from Ireland. If you can't see it, you can't be it. And you gotta give uh, an opportunity to young boys and girls to see um, their role models and see something to aspire to. I think seeing the Melrose Shield, just the decibel levels raised to, a, to another level when you get that home support. So, um, you know, seeing more of that today and, and hopefully um, some Irish success later on as well. We have just jumped out outside the stadium, the neighbouring Socompo training facility, where you can see the teams preparing for another important event. It's the Melrose Claymores Invitational Tournament featuring local team Hong Kong China. These players are about to run out onto the fame turf and what an opportunity that is. Something else here to get excited about. <laughs> Coach of Hong Kong China, Andy Vilk here, back on familiar territory for you. Tell us about how high these excitement levels are. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's so, an iconic tournament. Uh, to be here with Hong Kong China is another, another level. The team are really trying to harness to put that performance in. You're going to get to see the ladies play and then the mini rugby personal involvement there as well. Yeah, fortunately enough, my daughters have taken up rugby since we moved here uh, and that's been an, an extra uh, cherry on top of the cake. There we go, coach and dad points today. Well done, mate. <laughs> Thank you. So there you have it, another weekend of good vibes, good music, good food and all round shenanigans. Now don't forget, Singapore is just around the corner, so go grab your tickets so that you don't get Seven's FOMO.